If you've got irregular periods and you've got PCOS, you want to get pregnant, then this new study that was just released this week could potentially have the answer to your future fertility. Or could it? It's all about metformin. So if you've got PCOS and you take metformin, it's often talked about like it's this wonder fertility drug. It gets you pregnant. But the question is, does it really help you to conceive? Well, PCOS is strongly linked to insulin resistance for many people. It affects the way that your body handles sugar. And metformin is a diabetes medication that helps your body to respond better to your natural insulin. So if you improve your insulin sensitivity, you're more likely to ovulate more regularly. That can lead to more regular menstrual cycles and potentially a better chance of getting pregnant as well as it helps with other metabolic risks in PCOS but it doesn't cure your PCOS but it can help you to see a more regular cycle and enhance your chance of natural conception. So this systematic review of meta-analysis looked at women with PCOS who took metformin before and then continued it after conception and what they found was actually there was higher pregnancy rates in that group compared to people who had a placebo or no treatment so they were more likely to get pregnant if they took metformin. There was also a significant in a study that continuing metformin throughout the first trimester could potentially reduce miscarriage and possibly increase your live birth rates. But the uncertainty is still low to moderate, so we need better high quality trials. But the same analysis suggested that if you stop metformin as soon as pregnancy was confirmed, it could increase the chance of miscarriage compared to if you carry on the metformin. So that improves your pregnancy rates if you carry it on throughout the first trimester. So if you're on metformin for PCOS and you try to conceive, the decision about whether you should continue or stop should be made by a specialist who can weigh up your individual individual risks and benefits. It's not about a blanket rule. But outside of pregnancy, metformin for PCOS is not a wonder weight loss drug or a wonder fertility drug. Some people can see benefits in cycle regularity or in their blood sugar markers, but other people don't notice much change. And there's definite side effects of taking metformin. It can give you nausea, diarrhea, stomach upset. So the guidelines don't recommend metformin for every single person with PCOS. Only if you've got a high BMI, evidence of insulin resistance, or in specific fertility plans. It's got to be tailored to the individual. So hormonal contraception or ovulation induction medications or other treatments can be more appropriate for your PCOS depending on your priorities. So if you've got PCOS, the key question for your clinician is not should everyone with PCOS take metformin, but given my symptoms, my pregnancy plans, my long-term risks, is it the right choice for me 